What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, caps, moves, sagittarius, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Sorry, I'm kind of cold. <laughs> Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. Every like, subscribe, and share. Um, if you like the book of personal, um, I do have some time slots. Um, I have more time slots open than a field right now uh, because I've completed all my personal readings. Um, of minus the ones that have appointments upcoming. So there's a lot of open spaces right now because I've already completed them all. So if you are interested, uh, you have to text me to book and the information is in the description box below. There's two different offerings if you are interested. And also offer a new service called Life Coaching if anybody's interested in that as well. Uh, love you guys so much. Okay, so I've been at this all day, for anybody who doesn't know, I've been at this all day, <laughs> which I, I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind. But um, I received another download, so I'm going to deliver it, upload it out to the universe. It's a really good one. It's a good one. Um, and it's for the spiritual community. Um, it's for the spiritual community. You know, you take it how it resonates. I feel for some, you could be purveyors of the spiritual community. But I feel for the majority of um, the per people for this channeling and for this reading, I think you are, I think you're going to be a reader. I think you're going to be a reader. Um, for some, you could be people that purvey the readers. Um, you plug it in to your own personal situation and story, how it resonates. And as always, do not force any messages that don't fit. Okay. But it's really beautiful one. I, it really is. And I'm just saying. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, I heard the um, spiritual community, um, online spiritual community, I heard has already, um, has already united um, online and um, true light size spiritualists that do not have platforms too. I heard that too. So online spiritual community and true, uh, and true lifestyle spiritualists that do not have platforms, which I know there's a lot of you true um, lifestyle spiritualists that do not have platforms. Um, they've already united, united in a positive, copacetic manner. Um, I heard towards positivity and peace um, and elevating the collective spe specifically. So towards positivity, peace, and elevating the collective, which that's our, that's our job. As a spiritualist, uh, light side spiritualist, as readers, light side readers, chosen ones, um, that's our job is to elevate the collective in a very positive, copacetic manner. I don't care if this is your side job, your full time job, you do it every now and then. I, d I don't care. Or you don't even have an online platform because some of you guys are light side spiritualists and you don't have platforms. It's our job to elevate the collective, whether we do it out in our world with our actions and our thoughts and what we do and say and how we treat others or online with the downloads that we offload if you do them on an online platform or not. Um, it's our job to elevate the collective, to bring awareness to the shicey shit going on in the world with all the crazy negative downloads we get. But that is really what's happening in the world, whether people want to admit it or not. Or out in the 3D, the way you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. I mean, you can elevate the collective in many ways is what I'm trying to say. But, so light side spiritualists that don't have platforms, and I feel for some you could be, um, you could purvey the online platforms possibly. Uh, for some you could have an online platform. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But however that resonates, the tarot reading community as a whole, I feel, from the download and um, collectively, has already moved towards peace and positivity and elevating the collective, which is our goal. It should be our goal as a true divine being, a true chosen one, a true person on a divinely guided path, whether you have a full-time job out in the world, in the 3D, or not or you work six side hustles or not. And you know, it doesn't, this is not about how many jobs you have out 3D. I mean, you could have 20 of them, but if you're on the spiritual path, you're on the spiritual path. And that's just the truth. 
and whoever this is, I feel some of your readers, whether you online, public platform or not, but you are going towards peace and positivity. Um, the collective in general is going towards peace and positivity and um, elevating the collective. And I heard it's going to continue to um, through many series of chain events. So something is happening in the spiritual community. And I do feel some of this is not online social media platform energy, but I feel some of it is, if that makes sense. Um, but e whether it is or isn't, that is still good. That is still good because the world is in a chaotic, the world's in a chaotic place as it is. It's good for us to be leaders, leaders of, of our lives to be good examples for others. Um, so I really love this. I really love this. I really, really, really love this. Kudos to you guys. Just saying, I love it. So promoting peace and positivity and elevating the collective that absolutely freaking lutely. If you're truly in the spiritual, you're truly into spirituality and you truly are spiritual and you're not in it just to say you're spiritual because you want to be, you know, you think it's the cool kid crowd or whatever, whatever. No, you should be in spiritual. If you're spiritual, you should be spiritual because you truly believe you're spiritual. If anybody needs to hear that, not about being in with the cool kid crowd or um, trying to get a platform and get 20,000 views and get a large payout. No, it should not be about that. If you might need to hear that now, if you truly deserve the 20,000 views and you get the large payout, absolutely. You deserve to be paid and compensated properly for your work. Absolutely. But it shouldn't be about the money is what I'm trying to say. But whoever this is for, I feel, what I'm trying to say is I feel generally and collectively from the channel message, the spiritual community as a whole is coming together. It's coming together in a positive, copacetic manner. It's, I feel we are, we are change makers in the universe is what I'm trying to say. I feel absolute change makers. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Absolute change makers. This confirmation. Absolute change makers. As I might title it absolute change makers. Absolute change makers, you guys. You're absolute change makers. But I feel you're changing the, the world in a positive way. Whether you're giving them a wake up call about people's deaths that have already occurred from 10 or 20 years ago or two months ago, and they were really they really were killed, and somebody said they it was an accident, and you're Pulling energy from the deceased person on the other end to get out the channel messages, or you're delivering channel messages on company corruption, or um, I'm just using examples, or um, theft or extortion or embezzlement or crimes against humanity or whatever, whatever, or you're just putting out inspirational messages. You are being a change maker. Whether you're a psych psychic investigator, a social justice warrior, a uh, light side spiritualist, uh, whatever you call yourself, spiritual person, you're a change maker and a huge positive change maker. And I think you're part of this collective group that's promoting peace and positivity and positive change making to a universe that really needs it. And honestly, I feel the, I'm just saying this for me, not from spiritual downloads. The state that our universe is in right now they really need us. They really, really, really need us. They they do. Um, they need all of us to be on our A game, A spiritual game. And that's just the truth. And I feel we should be here for each other. For me, for me, for me. We should be here for each other in a positive, supportive way. Not in a codependent way now. Not in a codependent way. But in a positive, supportive way if somebody, need, you know, needs it. Um, maybe something that's, you know, information or, um, or a listening ear or something. I'm not talking about like codependency, but in a positive way. And I know a lot of you guys are, a lot of you guys are, um, and I have seen like, I'll give you an example. I've had my channel for two and a half years and a lot of my, um, previous, like my, when I first started channel, a lot of my subscribers have went off and 
made their own platforms. A lot of them have, and they have become so successful. And I, and I am so happy for them. I am so happy for them. And I love to get on here and watch their readings now. That's just an example for me. I can only speak on myself, not anybody else. But I love to see that because that's moving the collective forward. To me, that's just an example. I can only speak on, you know, what I've seen. But I'm serious. That's moving the collective forward in a huge way. And I love to see it. I do. I do believe we should be supportive and be here for each other. Not in a codependent way, but in a positive, healthy way. And I feel you spiritualists that are helping elevate the collective in a positive, peaceful way. I think you're doing it with your words. I think you're doing it with your actions. Um, you're not violent towards people in the universe. You're not uh, harming people in the universe. You're speaking your words, your truth, the truth. You're putting it out there, but not in a violent way. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hold on one second. I am pro I just want to say I love my collective. I have like 14,630 people on here right now. And especially and I'm talking I I want to say especially towards the ones that I know have public spiritual platforms. This is specifically for you guys. I am so proud of you guys. I just want to say this from the bottom of my heart chakra. I've had this channel for two and a half years and I've contemplated shutting it, shutting it down because I didn't feel I was making as much of a positive impact um, out there as I should have been or I should be rather. Uh, I'll just tell you all that. I've contemplated shutting it down many times because um, I have because I just felt like I wasn't making a difference um out there but but i have come to realize that i have i have i have made a wonderful difference and um and you all all of you have made wonderful differences the ones that um started watching me and created your own platforms you don't realize i love watching you guys you help me i help you everybody helps everybody and it almost makes me want to cry <laughs> <laughs> and I mean it, I mean it, I mean it, but I'm a little emotional. <laughs> I mean it. It it it's it's great. It's great. And some of you guys have um I really am emotional. Like there might be a tear. <laughs> okay, but and some of you guys have overcome addictions too. Like your readers and you did online public platforms and you've overcome addictions. I just want to say this too. Used to meet me, my well, you're still my subscribers, but you've created your own platforms and you rose a, above addictions. I just want to say I'm very proud of you too. Very proud, very proud. And I know I've never had drug addictions, I've never had alcohol addiction, I've never had a gambling addiction. Um, I, I didn't have a sex addiction because I overcame that. Um, I've been celibate for three years and I realized I almost thought I had a sex addiction, but I didn't. Because I was able to stop it. But my point is, I don't have any of that, especially the drugs or the alcohol. But I know some of you guys have had drugs or alcohol addictions and you've overcame it. And now you're doing public platforms of your own. I'm very proud of you guys because I've never had experienced alcoholism or drug addiction. And I never want to. And I have no desire. I have no desire to pick up a bottle of Jim or Jack or and chug it down. I just don't. Or shoot myself up. I just don't. I don't. Or snort myself up or whatever. I, I, I just don't. Thank God I don't. But but if I did, I know it would be very hard to overcome is what I'm trying to say. I know it would. And I, I, I know a lot of you guys have overcame it. And, um, and I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Very proud. So I just want to put that little uh, tidbit out there too um, to you guys. Okay. All right, so, um, yeah, I literally was tearing. It, there No tears were shed, but that is the truth. Okay, let's see. I was getting a little choked up, you guys. Several shocking series of chain events are going to happen with these situations. They're going to continue to happen. 
There's about to be a lot of support, a lot of support. Encouraging support, inspiration in this community. Wow. Okay, so several more shocking series of chain of events are going to occur regarding these situations. There's about to be a lot of support, um, loving support and inspiration and um, from this community. So the spiritual community, I'm presuming. The part of the community, I think Chosen One's part of the 144,000 true Chosen One community is what I'm feeling. I didn't hear that. That's just intuitively what I feel. Light side spiritual community, true Chosen Ones. Um, peace, the peace and positivity and, um, and, um, has already occurred here. There's like a, to, not like a two togetherness, not like a codependent togetherness, but like a positive positivity and unitingness, um, is what I feel. I heard, uh, more support's going to come and I think positive, kind words and support towards each other is what I'm feeling because I heard not in a codependent way. So I don't feel like a reader is going to ask another reader for $500, not like that. But I feel like, hey, you do good work. I'm proud of you. Or uh, maybe a sharing of a video. I didn't hear specifically how this was going to go down, but that's what I'm thinking. I did hear support. I did hear inspiration. And, um, Several shocking series of chain of events are going to occur, but I'm feeling it might be through maybe sharing of videos. I know Spiritual Advisor LLC shared one of my videos. Well, it was a promotion of a video that I promoted her in March of this year. She did stay. Um, but it was, but I, when I saw the share on YouTube, I replayed it back and I, I love that she did that particular one because I spoke in there about the spiritual journey. Um, in there, in that particular video, and I promote her videos all the time. She could have promoted any uh, any video, but she promoted that one, and I'm glad she did because of what I was saying in it to promote her video. So it could be something like that is what I'm trying to say. I'm just using that example because she did do that today. Um, but I feel it might be something like that, like sharing of videos. It might be commenting on a publicly on a post. Hey, your reading has really helped me. Um, blah 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 blah, or sharing somebody's spiritual video with somebody that's not spiritual and they don't know what the spiritual journey entails or they don't know what a chosen one is or the spiritual journey or spiritual path like helping enlighten somebody if they're interested that kind of thing that's what i'm feeling but you plug it in how it resonates flow yeah number 24 could be a very significant number of one's life number 24 it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number number 24 flow I think it's about to make the energetic flow happen very positively between the spiritual community. And um, absolutely. There was once a huge divide here, a huge divide, a silent huge divide, but it has been removed. Things are about to start flowing so well, so well. Okay, I heard there was once a, once a very huge silent divide, a huge silent divide between the um, spiritual community. But I heard it's been removed, it's been removed. And so now things are going to start flowing very positively. So positive energy flow in the spiritual community, whatever the silent divide was. Now, only you would know what the sil silent divide is in your if you are part of this or was part of this, only you would know what that is. My poor card. Um, but some kind of silent divide energy. But I heard it's been removed. It's been removed and I heard things are going to continue to flow positively. So that's really beautiful. Um, some kind of silent divide. I'm feeling somebody was, I think it might have been a person. Possibly might have been a person. In some situations, it might have been a situation. Um, and some, for some of you guys, it might have been a situation. But I feel for some of you guys, it might have been a person. Or people that was trying to silently divide person or people. Or keep people away from certain readers. Or keep people away from, yeah, that's what I think. Keep people away from certain readers. Keep people away from viewing certain videos. That kind of thing. I didn't hear that. That's just intuitively what I think. But there was definitely some kind of silent vibe. Whether it was a group doing it, a person doing it, or a whole ass situation doing it. But it's been removed. I'll tell you that. 
He loves on top of that refrigerator. And he goes right after him. You all see that? He jumped right on up there. He knew where he was going. Spirit messages you have to listen. Manifesting dreams, number 46, could be a very significant number in one's life, number 46. And I heard take it, number three, courage. So number 46 or three could be very significant numbers in one's life. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number, number 46 or three. We have manifesting dreams and courage. I think you're about to have a lot of courage and bravery. Whether you're a, a person that uh, pervades the spiritual community and maybe... I feel for some, you'd be people that purvey the spiritual community and you were bullied, targeted, harassed for being uh, purveying people with videos of the spiritual community is what I feel for some of you guys. For some, I feel you are public readers or private readers and you have been bullied, targeted, harassed, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because you are spiritual. That's exactly what I feel. That's just intuitively what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates. So, yeah. That's exactly what I feel. But you have um, courage and bravery, and you're standing up for yourself in a situation, or you're about to. I, I Actually, I don't even feel this is about to energy. I feel you have. I feel you have, because I heard it's already began. It's going to continue. Manifesting dreams. Let me see if I hear anything else. You have such bravery, such bravery, and you're such a beautiful soul. You're about to receive such huge blessings, such huge blessings. Okay, I heard you're, um, you're such a brave soul, such a brave soul, and you're very brave. You have lots of courage. Like This is like Leo energy in this deck, the courage and the bravery. You could be a Leo, have Leo in your chart or, or not, but it is like Leo energy. But you have lots of courage and bravery, basically. Um like taking on the Leo energy. And I heard um, you're about to receive wonderful, beautiful blessings. So whoever you are, I feel you could be some, you could be pur purveyors of this spiritual community and you were bullied, targeted, harassed for doing that. Excuse me. Or you could be an online public platform spiritualist or a home spiritualist, however that resonates. And you were bullied, targeted, harassed for being spiritual. But you're manifesting your dreams. Whether you're coming to the spiritual community for inspiration and um, love and support and um, messages or whatever, whatever, or you are an online reader and you're manifesting your dreams as a content creator or a public speaker or just speaking the truth as a like a hobby, however that resonates. Because for anybody who doesn't know, this started as a hobby for me. For anybody who doesn't know, this started as a hobby for me. Uh, and that's the truth. Now, I could go out and get a job in the 3D, a full-time job right now, but given the given the past that I've been bullied, targeted, harassed so badly in my community and wrongfully terminated four times in my city, I just don't want to do that because I don't, it's been such horrible luck for me in this city is what I'm trying to say. Now, my goals is to renovate my home and move away. Now, when I'll be able to do that, I don't know, but I definitely will do this do this full time until I'm able to, I'll tell you that. Because I'm in my own on my own property here. And I don't allow anybody in my house to bully, target, harass, and gang stalk me. So <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> but I heard basically, so I feel like you go both ways to what I'm trying to say. The purveyors to the spiritual community, maybe you were bullied, targeted, harassed, made fun of for purveying the spiritual community to begin with, or you could be an online platform reader. And you were bullied, targeted, harassed, made fun of. Maybe for some they made you cry. But um, but either way, you're manifesting your dreams. You're standing up for spirituality, standing up for the spiritual community. And you're having lots of courage and bravery to do it, is what I feel. And I heard big, wonderful things were coming to you. And I feel it, that could be in both categories. So you plug it in, how it resonates, okay? I'm getting out of this one, and it was very beautiful. I love you guys. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. Single mom with two kids. Help support a single mom with two kids and um, one of her businesses. I have another channel called Hashtag Leo Gang. Hashtag capital L-E-O-G-A-N-G -G with exclamation point. If anybody's interested. Love you guys so much. Namaste.